Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon Frayne. We are back with another video. Today, we are comparing BitTensor Tau versus Render Network, two of the big heavy hitters in the artificial intelligence crypto space. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and don't forget, you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description below this video. Grab it down below and let's talk about BitTensor versus Render. Okay, so first and foremost, if we jump over to CoinGecko.com and if we come into the categories area for artificial intelligence, we can clearly see BitTensor is the largest AI crypto protocol by total market cap, currently sitting at about $2.86 billion in overall market cap. Render, technically speaking, is the fifth largest AI crypto by overall market cap, sitting at $1.61 billion, so a little bit less than half of BitTensor's uh, overall market cap, sorry, a little bit, a little bit more than half. But for all intents and purposes, I don't really consider ICP a true AI native first cryptocurrency. And so I would really consider Render being the fourth largest AI crypto by overall market cap. Again, very close in market cap to the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance, Fetch, and lots of exciting stuff happening in the Render ecosystem as well. But what I want to do today is I want to compare Render versus BitTensor Tau and think about both of these AI cryptos and their potential for growth and adoption over the course of the rest of this cycle and beyond. So first and foremost, looking at the charts here, BitTensor Tau currently sitting at $319 per token. I've been pretty outspoken about BitTensor, subnets, and the entire ecosystem over the past few months on the channel here. You can definitely check out some of those other videos. I will leave them at the top of the screen here. But for all intents and purposes, BitTensor operates like a network of networks. You've got all of these individual subnets in the BitTensor ecosystem that are essentially acting as individual businesses competing against one another to provide the most valuable information to the network as a whole. Every time they do that, every single day, at least for now, until the Tau halving, you have 7,200 Tau tokens that are up for grabs as emission rewards every single, every single day in the Tau ecosystem. And so all of these subnets, it's kind of like a Hunger Games where they're competing against one another, trying to provide the most valuable information to the network as a whole to get the largest emission share of that 7,200 Tau every single day. A very good website to check out some of those subnets is taustats.io. You can come over here and check it out for yourself, but you will see all of these subnets ranked by emissions. So Shoots is the largest subnet in the Tau ecosystem. It's currently generating about 12.5% of all of those daily 7,200 Tau emissions. You've got Celium, Targon, Templar as the next largest subnets by daily emissions, and this entire subnet ecosystem is getting more and more competitive. The incentive mechanism are there for each subnet to provide the most valuable information to get the largest amount of tau, which in turn helps the entire network to grow as a whole. Okay, looking at the price action for Tau, yes, we're currently sitting under that 200 day simple moving average. I would prefer to see us return above that to make a larger move higher. We can see last time we properly got a breakout above the 200 day. We had a really nice run up here in the end of 2024 into December. And again, a nice little peak up here um, early 2025 before drawing down in Q1. Next up, let's compare it to Render. Render is currently sitting at a price of $3.11. If we zoom out on the chart here, we can see we got all the way up just below that $14 mark back in March of last year. So Render had a phenomenal run up in Q1 of 2024. Another great run up here in December of last year, getting up very close to that $12 mark. But if you're not familiar with Render, guys, again, I've done lots of videos about Render on the channel. Render Network as an AI protocol is honing in on this problem of GPU and <clears throat> making it easier for people to tap into distributed GPU uh, for rendering purposes. So again, unlimited GPU power for the next generation of 3D and AI creativity. What you're looking at here is this whole concept of instead of having very large centralized server farms, if render as a network can tap into unused or underutilized GPU in a distributed fashion, it becomes much faster, much more elastic, and much more affordable for users and businesses to execute tasks in an AI format 
and they're doing it in an on-chain decentralized way. So Render is definitely solving a very interesting problem. And the idea being that if you can actually solve this issue, it will become um, you know, exponentially more affordable to be using decentralized cloud rendering compared to centralized servers like AWS, et cetera. So again, a very worthy problem or use case that render is actually tackling, whether they can truly make it scale and make it more affordable, um, or at least considerably more affordable than centralized GPU counterparts remains to be seen, but definitely lots of potential here. Now, when it comes down to comparing render versus Tau, it is interesting to compare and contrast some of the price action and what's been happening with both of these assets when we compare them against one another. You know, the goal of render, as we said, is honing in on distributed GPU rendering in a decentralized fashion. The goal of Tau is to continue to incentivize all of these subnets to provide as much valuable information to the network as a whole, so the AI can continue to enhance itself and improve over time. And so you compare and contrast these different use cases, you could argue, and I do think there are in fact some individual subnets in the BitTensor ecosystem that are tackling the exact same problem that Tau is actually tackling, or sorry, that Render is actually tackling. So individual subnets in the Tau ecosystem could be honing in on the exact same use case that Render is also honing in on. And so in my personal opinion, I do think there is slightly more potential for the growth of BitTensor as a network as a whole compared to render because BitTensor has this whole ecosystem of different individual AI businesses honing in on different AI specific niches and problems. And one of those niches and problems is exactly what render is tackling. And so maybe there's limited upside when we compare it to BitTensor. And that is my opinion. But when we look at the data on the chart, the data also paints a very similar picture. So I'm going to bring up the Tau USD chart. As I said earlier, we're sitting at a price around $319. But if we map Tau and place it against render on this specific chart, we bring in the render USDT chart from Binance, map it against the Tau chart. The picture that this is painting here, if you understand what you're looking at from a technical analysis perspective, is the fact that BitTensor Tau as the base asset on this chart mapped against render as the quote asset, Bit Tensor has been significantly outperforming render over the past year, year and a half. So again, this chart moving up and to the right means that rend sorry, it means that Tau has been outperforming render. And again, if I measure this on a percentage basis, going back to these lows, maybe as early here as July last year. So this is pretty much a one year time frame to where we're at today. BitSensor Tau has technically performed or outperformed Render by over 224% over the past 368 days. So again, you have to try and be objective about the data that's in front of you and the price action that's happening between these different assets. You also have to do the fundamental research to understand the problem that Tau and all the subnets are solving and the problem that Render and its network is also addressing in order to make a well-rounded, well-informed decision, okay? Nothing in this video is financial advice advice guys, of course. So do your own research, look at the technicals on the chart, look at the fundamentals of each of these networks individually as well. And I hope I have painted at least a little bit of a picture here as to what's going on in the differences between BitTensor Tau and Render and why I have been doubling down even more on the BitTensor Tau network over the past few months. So do your own research, look at the numbers for yourself, but I urge you to do uh, the deep dive and put in the time to understand these protocols and the asymmetric upside that they offer. Does this mean that Tau is not, sorry, does this mean that Render is not going to go up in price? No, absolutely not. I think Render has the potential to continue increasing in price over the course and the remainder of this cycle. I just think this trend that we saw on the Tau to Render chart is going to keep moving up and to the right. So I do think Tau has the potential to outperform Render on a percentage basis. You can check out my price predictions for Render on the channel. I'll try to leave links in the top of the screen here, but just search Render on my channel. You'll find a bunch of videos on price targets for Render. I definitely think we could be going to, you know, 40, 50, 60 dollars for the price of render if the stars align. So keep that in mind. Do your own research. Check out render and tau for yourself. As always, guys, today's video is sponsored by Bitunix, a non-KYC centralized global derivatives exchange. Again, if you want to hone in on your privacy and you do need, you know, a privacy centric approach when you're operating and executing in the crypto space. Bitunix is your go to exchange, non KYC options, great trading pairs, awesome 
um, liquidity. I have spoken with the people on the team at Bitunix, very good people. So check it out for yourself. I'm going to leave a referral link in the description below this video. Check out Bitunix and let me know what you think. That is it for today's video, guys. Again, if you got any value at all out of this BitTensorTau versus render comparison, giving my opinions, letting you know the growth potential of these different protocols, drop me a comment below. Make sure to take three seconds. Just take three seconds, drop a quick thumbs up on the video, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. And again, you've got a completely free copy of my book, The Rise of Bitcoin, waiting for you in the description below this video. Grab it down below and we'll catch you in the next one.